All right, hello everyone. Eric Marks, FindingMiddleEarth.com. And today I have to admit something. It's not always easy to admit when you're wrong, but um, I was wrong. I was wrong about the Fujifilm X-T2. So let me explain before you guys uh, jump to conclusions here. Um, when the X-T2 first was announced, I made a first impressions video, of just kind of what I thought about it. I didn't own the camera at the time. It was like the day after it released. Um, which was months before I actually purchased one. And the reason why I made that video is because so many people emailed me that day and said, Eric, now that the X-T2 is out, you know, are you going to buy it for landscape photography? Would you ever consider it? What do you think about it? And so I just wanted to make a video that day uh, of kind of my thoughts based on just the specs and what people were saying about it. Uh, at that point, I don't think anyone had actually had it in their hands yet, uh, except for some of the Fuji ambassadors. Um, so... In that video, I said a lot of great things about it. I said that I might consider it. I said that, you know, I'm sure it's a great camera, but I said that it's probably not suited for sports and fast moving subjects. <laughs> They're gonna buy a Nikon D5 and probably two D500s, you know, for a backup or who knows. They're, they're not gonna get into the mirrorless game yet. I was wrong. I was, uh, I was very, very wrong. So I want, in case anyone is watching that video or, or has seen that video and is wondering what's going on now that I'm shooting Fuji, I was wrong. I was just flat out wrong to make that assumption. Um, when the settings are tweaked correctly, this camera tracks faster than my Nikon D4 did, okay? And my Nikon D4 was an absolute monster at tracking in, uh, with AF tracking at fast moving subjects. It was great at it. Um, this, yeah, this X-T2, when, when it, the, when the, the uh, AFC custom settings are customized for the, the situation that you're shooting in, uh, it's unbelievable. I've taken this on a couple of animal safaris and just some like uh, wildlife uh, days and some wildlife reserves that I've gone out on so far and it is so impressive. Oh, my, I mean, it's just, this with the 55 to 200 with the OIS turned on is magic. Now I'm sure this with the 100 to 400 is magic as well. I don't own that lens because I don't do a lot of wildlife, but all the fast moving subjects that I've tracked so far with this camera, if you tweak the settings, the, it's just, it's insane how fast it is. It really is. I had no business in that video commenting on how, you know, on it being suited for sports or not. Um, you know, me making that assumption was just wrong since I had not had the camera. So I apologize if anyone has seen that video and is wondering what, you know, what's happening now with me shooting with Fuji. I was just flat out wrong. Uh, it is fantastic at shooting uh, fast moving subjects if you tweak everything. Now, Fuji has just released new firmware updates that uh, they said they're actually going to have an upgrade at um, in the AFC mode. And I'm assuming it's going to be an upgrade in the general, just a general purpose upgrade in uh, focus tracking, which is gonna be great because on standard default AFC mode, the camera is a little inconsistent at tracking. But if you tweak the settings, you know, on the, on the menu for what you're shooting, it's unbelievable. It's it, like, you just can't miss a shot. Um, the keeper rate is just fantastic. I'll throw up some photos right now that I've shot with the, the camera, just tracking it with some wildlife and stuff. And you'll, you'll see, it's just, it's really, really nice. Dead sharp, even at, even in low light, the low light autofocus performance and the low light autofocus tracking is just really, really nice. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to make this video, let everyone know, because uh, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of lot more qu questions about this. I get questions about it often if this camera is suited for wildlife and stuff, uh, but I don't want you guys to, you know, get my answer through like an email and then go back and watch that video on my YouTube channel before I ever owned this camera where I said that it just wasn't suited for sports or it wasn't that good for, for fast moving subjects. I had no business saying that. It obviously is very good for those things. Uh, you could definitely shoot sports with this, especially with the battery grip. If you have the battery grip for this, which I do, it's just not on it right now. You can, you can flip that sucker into boost mode and it'll take you to 11 frames per second on the mechanical shutter and it actually boosts the, uh, the AF performance somehow because Fuji's software is just wizardry, it's magic. So uh, yeah, this, this is, I am saying it on camera, this tracks better than my Nikon D4 did um, when it's tweaked properly. So it's fantastic. I was wrong. Fujifilm was right when they said this is one of the fastest AF tracking cameras on the market, if not the fastest mirrorless tracking camera on the market. Uh, I was wrong, they were right. That's it. So before I end the video, I uh, just wanna let everyone know that I have set up a uh, PayPal support page for my YouTube channel here. 
Uh, if you visit paypal.me forward slash finding middle earth, uh, you can go over there and just help support the channel that you can put in any dollar dollar amount you want, anything you're comfortable with. Uh, I highly appreciate because I, uh, I'm going to make a, a kind of my 2017 goals video coming soon. And, uh, I've already, I'm basically, I love doing photography education so much that right now it's kind of stealing my time away from my full-time photography gig. Uh, and so I'm kind of doing like a, a 50, 50 split thing right now. So I'm, I'm actually dropping a lot of my, uh, paying clients right now um, so that I can devote more time to this because I, I see more of a future and potential in this and all of my awesome viewers. I love you guys so much and I love making these videos. So if you guys like the content and all the free advice and stuff that I give here, uh, please head over and support the channel because I'm dropping clients every day so that I can do this 100% full time. That's my goal by the end of this year to be completely full time photography education, workshops, YouTube, webinars, you name it. So. Um, yeah, I love doing this. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you would like to stay up to date on all of my latest photography videos and adventures, click the big subscribe button below. And if you would like to find out more about me and how to become a great photographer, visit my website at findingmiddleearth.com.